Today we're going to read the chapter 2 of Fantastic Mr. Fox. I mean, seriously, I don't know why. There's three pages, but let's just find the page. So it's on page. Okay, ready? Chapter 2 Mr. Fox. On a hill above the valley, there was a wood. In the wood, there was a huge tree. Under the tree, there was a hole. In the hole lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox and the four small foxes. Every evening, as soon as it got dark, Mr. Fox would say to Mrs. Fox, Well, my darling, what shall it be this time? A plum chicken from Buggis, a duck or goose from Buns, or a nice turkey from Bean. And when Mrs. Fox had told him what she wanted, Mr. Fox would creep down in the valley in the darkness of the night and help himself. Bogus and Nance and me knew very well what was going on, and it made them wild with rage. And they were not men who looked like to give anything away. Yes, still did they like anything to be stolen from them. So every night each of them would take the shotgun and hide in a dark place somewhere on his own farm, hoping to get for rubber. But Mr. Fox was too clever for them. He was always approached a farm with the wind blowing in his face. And this meant that if any man were lurking in the shadow's head, the wind would carry the smell out of them. That man to Mr. Fox's nose from far away, the fuss it Mr. Boggis was hiding behind his chicken house. Number one, Mr. Fox would smell him out from 50 yards of a quickly changed direction, heading for the chicken house number four at the other end for the farm. Dang and lost, a lousy beast, cried Boris. I'd like to rip his guts, said Buns. He must be killed, cried Bean. But now, said Boris, how on earth can we catch the blighter? Bean picked the nose delicately with a long finger. I have a plan. He said, you never had a descent plan yet, said Bunce. Shut up and listen, said Bean. Tomorrow night we will all hide just outside the hole where the fox lives. We will wait for until he comes out. Then bang, 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 bang. Very clever, said Bunce. But first we shall have... To find the hole, my dear Bunce, I've already found it, said the crafty bean. It's up in the wood, on the hill, it's, a, it's under a tr huge tree. Okay, that's the end of the chapter. I'm just going to show you the pictures. So, the start is here. I'm not going to show chapter 3. So I hope you enjoyed guys this chapter, chapter 2 Mr. Fox. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.